Hello and welcome to Herrick Middle School. I'm Emlyn Kraft. I'm a 2016-2017 8th grade student. This is the Herrick Middle School sign. shaped school was built on a hill. That's why when you walk through it, it gives you a trippy illusion. <laughs> this is William Herrick. He was a part of the Daughters Grove School Board for 30 years. He was a music instructor. He's the one that founded Herrick. This is the main office right here, and this is our main hallway. Down here, we have the LRC. And this is the downstairs. And this is the upstairs. These are one of our many lockers. This is the upstairs at Herrick Middle School. They're here for safety reasons. If you go down and up the stairs at the same time, it could like make people fall down the stairs, so that's why these are the only upstairs. We also have downstairs that are on the other side of the halls. These are the downstairs at Herrick Middle School. These are the stairs that only go down in school, just to ensure people's safety that we walk down the stairs. We also have two other stairwells that are also free will, where you can go up and down the stairs at the same time. These are the student lockers that we keep all of our stuff in so nothing gets stolen. Vandalism is not tolerated at Herrick Middle School. As you can see here, it already has been, t already has been vandalized by other students in the past. Okay so, okay, so it says the mess wasn't her fault, so I guess that she didn't do anything wrong. Yeah. yeah. So, I don't... This is what not to do in the hallway. Because now people can't walk through. Can you okay, all your, is it okay if I borrow your lotion? Yeah. Okay, okay. thanks. So, how's your day? How was Tartag? How was Monstrum? How was Connie? Is it um, good? It's been a pretty good. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, what are you getting at lunch tonight? Because I don't usually get the pizza or the chicken fingers. Yeah, pizza. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> this is what to do in the hall. Talk in the blue and walk in the white. This way, you don't get in the way of other people's way when they're walking. Welcome to the Herrick Library. This is where we have our new selections of books. In this library, we have a huge selection of books here at Herrick Middle School. From fiction to nonfiction, we also have science fiction and other selections for you. This is the comfy area where other people can talk and relax while reading their books. We also have tables here which other students can also sit. There is a secret table for when people do not want to be disturbed. This is Herrick's large gym. This is one of the eight basketball hoops in the large gym. Herrick has two basketball teams, a seventh, uh, they have a boys and a girls team, and then there's seventh grade and eighth grade. It is a very good team. The Herrick has four volleyball teams. 7th and 8th grade boys and girls team, and here are their stats. So this is a small gym. This is where they play most of the intramurals. Except for flag football, they play outside. <laughs> <laughs> so we have many intramural sports. We have basketball, soccer, hockey, football, and golf. So, the Herrick has four track teams, a boy and a girl, seventh and eighth grade. And here's the their championships. And here's the track records. Yeah. <laughs> this is our conference champs cross country team. We have four teams, we have boys and girls, but our girls banner is right over there. And yeah. This 
This is the office, the first thing that you see when you come to Herrick. It's bad. <laughs> and back here is where the nurse's office is, where the six students go during the day. This is a hall pass. Usually it has the teacher's last name on it and it makes you, and it lets you go through the hallway without getting in trouble during class. This is a conduct form. You usually get these when you're running through the hall. As you can see here, that's where you get in trouble. Hey, that's a conduct form. At Herrick Middle School, academics is one of our main focuses. It's something that we do every day in every class. It's what we usually do. We have many subjects at Herrick, such as social studies, science, ELA, which is reading and LA, math, and you can either take a language in 8th grade or take an exploratory, and in 7th grade you can take a connections class, art, music, and facts, because you have to take them all. Um, at Herrick we also have a variety of clubs, such as Magic Club, Pope Magic Club, stuff. and Hula Hoop Club, and many, many more. And everyone's, and everyone's favorite, favorite subject, subject is lunch. lunch. This is our cafeteria and also our auditorium, as you can see. Which you can do drama club, you can join the school musical, and you can do a lot more. And sometimes even teachers come up here to work with students. So resilient. What do you expect from these students in the seventh grade? Really, I have three basic rules. Um, participate, do not be lazy, and be on target. Okay, so what is your teaching style for the seventh graders? Ooh, that's a good question. Teaching style. I like to have fun, but I also like to um, make sure that we are getting everything we need to get done for the school year. So I like to have that nice blend. Okay, so what is your expectations for your students? My expectations would be that uh, you know students are here on a daily basis and ready to learn. Um, I think they need to you know, set their own goals. I think it's important for us to give them some of those, but it's important for them to have their own ones so that they're you know, working towards something that they've set up for themselves. So, Mr. Dvorak, what is your teaching style like? Um, I think it's important for the students to be accountable for their work. Um, so a lot of times I'll you know, give them the information that I need, but then they do a lot of the learning in their groups and they problem solve together and then we come back and make sure that everybody's on the same page so that before they leave they know exactly what they need to know. So what are your goals for your students? I, I would say my goals for my students would be um, whatever goals they set for themselves that I help them work towards that. So if their goal is to get a uh, to get an A in the class, then I'm going to try to figure out what I could do to help them, whether it's setting up time before or after school or in class to help them accomplish the goals they've set out. So. Okay, what are your expectations for your students? Um, I expect my students to be kind and considerate towards others, to be <coughs> respectful to each other, and to be engaged in what we're doing in class. So Ms. Henry, what are your teaching styles like? I believe that science should be hands-on and you should be learning by doing different activities and experiments and that students should be the ones figuring out what they are learning about through the experiences <coughs> that we have. Thank you, Ms. Henry. Thank you. Ms. Chartag, yes, what is your expectations for your students? For all my students, I expect them to work very hard to their best potential um, and hopefully to have fun in class and learn a little something. Ms. Hartag, what is your teaching style? I try and put a lot of responsibility on the kids, so I try and present them with ideas and activities that they'll find engaging so that they take responsibility for themselves. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You. Okay. The bell schedule at Herrick is something that we must follow. As you can see, we have the early bird if you're in band, orchestra, or choir or if you even have to come in early for school, you don't need to come at this time, but then you have first, second, third, and all the way to eighth. And as you can see, 5A and 5B is eighth grade's lunch, and you have home base, say you have home base 5A, and then lunch 5B, and same goes for 4A and 4B. And the power schedule is the exact same, but we have a power where you read for an hour, or you could do SEL. As you can see, it's just slightly off from what this is. 
but you still end school at the same time. SEL takes place in power schedule, which is the first thing that happens on Wednesdays when you get here. SEL switches off between reading every other week. Um, SEL also stands for social emotional learning. So basically in SEL, what we learn is how to deal with bullying, anxiety, and how to really cope with things and how to have empathy for people. SEL is something that you learned in elementary school, of course, but you did not learn it from your home base teacher. It's something new to you guys, but it's also something that you counselor taught in elementary school for a certain day or just any time that it was possible. But and now, oh good. With our SEL lessons, they can be fun and very hands-on experience. Yeah. Ms. Giambo, what do you expect from your students while teaching? Um, I expect a lot of things, but the biggest thing that I expect is um, hard work and determination um, and a lot of cre creativity because we are in the music room. So, Ms. Giambo, what is your teaching style like? Um, I believe that my teaching style is very student focused, so I love to get to know students personally and um, by knowing that information then we can um, do a ton of great projects and they can incorporate the things that they're interested in into the projects that I assign. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Thank you. Ms. Han, how many books can a student check out at once? Each student is allowed to check out up to three books at a time. They can keep those books for two weeks. If the book happens to be late, uh, they are charged five cents a day. What are some of the advantages of the library? Well, um, the kids can come in here anytime their teachers allow them to. They can come in during home base and work. They can come in and work on group projects. They are also um, have access to the Chromebooks that we have for them to use, as well as a photocopy machine and the printers. Well, does, does every gym student that is at, like accepted out of gym here allowed to be in here? Um, the kids who end up being injured, whether it be in gym or outside uh, due to sports, will come in here uh, for their gym period and are allowed to work on anything they need to finish for their classes. Thank you. You're welcome. You. Foreign language. Foreign language is something the eighth graders take if they don't take a, lang a, a basic full-time language such as French or Spanish. Foreign language teaches Spanish, French, and German and it's just really fun. I'm in it and I was in it and it's super fun. Yeah. Basically they teach three weeks of Spanish, three weeks of French, and then three weeks of German. Yep. And this is a tour of Herrick Middle School. Do your homework! <laughs>